Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to make text and shapes into Jello. I'll also show you how to refract the light inside the Jello. I provided this placemat setting so you can follow along. Its link is located in the video's description or project files. If you prefer to use another plate or bowl, make sure its overall brightness is approximately 75%, since this effect works best at this setting. Make a copy of the background by pressing Ctrl J on a PC or Command J on a Mac. We'll name it Base. Open your Type tool and go to Window and Character and Window and Paragraph. In the Paragraph panel, I'll click on Center Text. Open the Character panel and choose a font. I'm using Cooper Standard Black, a point size of 200, and the color is black. Type out your text. To move the second line up or down, highlight it and slide the letting icon to the left or right. To add a heart between your names, go to your Custom Shape tool and open Custom Shape. Choose Shape, the fill is black, and no stroke. Click on the arrow next to the thumbnail and open your list of presets. Check Large List and choose Shapes. Click OK so we can just see these presets in the window. Choose the Heart card and click on the gear icon. Highlight Define Proportions and check From Center. Click between your names and drag out the heart. To hide the work path, press Ctrl or Command H. Open your Move tool to reposition the heart. Let's merge the heart shape and the text. With the heart already highlighted, shift click on the text layer to highlight both layers. Press Ctrl or Command E to merge them. Reduce the fill to 0% and make three copies of the layer by pressing Ctrl or Command J three times. We'll name the original layer Bottom the layer above it, text, and the two layers above that, highlight 1 and highlight 2. We can close the text panels now. Make the text layer active and double click on it to open its layer style window. To achieve similar results for your image, depending on the size of your text and shapes, will determine the amounts you set for your layer styles, so the amounts may be different than the ones we'll be using here. Click Bevel and Emboss. The style is Inner Bevel and the technique is Smooth. The depth is 154%, the direction is Up, the size is 10 pixels, and Soften is 0. Uncheck Global Light. Make the angle 117 degrees and the altitude 69 degrees. Check Anti-Alias and make the glass contour Ring. Make the highlight opacity 100%, change the shadow to color burn, and make the opacity 15%. Check Contour, and click on the Contour thumbnail. Drag the lower left corner to an output of 85% and click OK. Make the opacity 30%. Choose Inner Glow, and click on the color box. Pick White, and change the blend mode to color dodge. Make the opacity 24% and choose center. Make the choke 34% and the size 18 pixels. Choose color overlay and click on the color box. For this example, we'll make our jello cherry red. I'm using FF and four zeros. Change the blend mode to darken. Choose outer glow and click on the color box. Choose white and change the blend mode to overlay. Make the opacity 30% and the size 6 pixels. Choose drop shadow and click on the color box. Pick a dark red. I'm using 8 and 5 zeros. Make the opacity 100%, the distance 2 pixels, the spread 17%, and the size 6 pixels. 
Then click OK. Make Highlight 1 visible and double click on it to open its layer style window. Click Bevel and Emboss and make the depth 154%, the size 13 pixels, and soften it 2 pixels. Uncheck Global Light and make the angle 133 degrees and the altitude 74 degrees. Make the gloss contour ring, the opacity 100%, the shadow mode color burn, and the opacity 15%. Let's copy the bevel and emboss effect to highlight 2. Press and hold Alt on a PC or Option on a Mac and drag up the FX to the Highlight 2 layer. Make the layer visible and double click on Bevel and Emboss to see it in the Layer Styles window. Change the angle to minus 146 degrees. Let's drag a couple of the text effects to the bottom layer. Go to Bevel and Emboss and press and hold Shift and Alt on a PC or Shift and Option on a Mac as you drag it to the bottom layer. Repeat this for color overlay. Double click on Effects and choose Inner Shadow. Make the opacity 70%, the distance 3 pixels, and the size 6 pixels. Go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. Make the radius 3 pixels and change the opacity to 32%. Reposition it slightly down and to the right. The last step is to slightly magnify the inside of the jello to simulate light refracting through it. Go to the text thumbnail and control click it on a PC or command click it on a Mac. This will make a selection of it. Click on the base layer to make it active and click on the layer mask button to make a layer mask of the selection next to the base. Click on the chain link to hide it. This allows us to move or resize the base or its layer mask independently of each other. Click on the base to make it active and press Ctrl or Command T to open your transform tool. Go to a corner and when you see a straight double arrow press Shift and Alt on a PC or Shift and Option on a Mac and drag it out slightly to enlarge the entire image. Then press Enter or Return. Next, I'll show you how to change the color of the jello. Click off the eyeball of the background to hide it. Make the top layer active and press Control Shift Alt E on a PC or Command Shift Option E on a Mac to make a composite snapshot of your image. Press Alt or Option as you click on the eyeball to hide all the other layers in the Layers panel. Make the background visible and click on the Adjustment Layer button. Choose Hue Saturation. Click on the Clip to Layer icon which makes the Adjustment Layer only affect the one layer beneath it in the Layers panel. If the Adjustment Layer is not clipped it will affect all the layers beneath it, including the background. When you slide the hue back and forth, our jello changes to whatever color and flavor you want. Have fun sending someone you know a message written with jello. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.